Sports bettors, we're going to be turning $475 into 9.5K, but I wanted to start out by just going through an incredible example that hopefully opens your eyes to the power of sharp sports betting, profitable sports betting, looking for value on underdog fantasy, right? So what you'll see is Cedric Mullins to record a hit is minus 210 on DraftKings. Whit Merrifield, minus 145. Luis Gonzalez, minus 145. This parlay comes out to 500 to win 2K. 2.1K. 500 for a payout of 2.1K. Right? You go to Underdog Fantasy, it's 500 to win 3 grand. So your payout is 1.5 times that of DraftKings. And this really is what makes sports betting, you know, so fascinating, especially with so many sports books and new companies launching in the United States, is because all of these bookmakers have different odds, once you really, you know, take a step back and understand how the pros think about sports betting, how the sharp bettors think about sports betting, it's really eye-opening to see some of the opportunities in the market that you could be taking advantage of. So as an example, the first play I went with is Mullins over half of a hit, right? So we've gone through the math of underdog fantasy many times, and this play needs to be in your underdog fantasy entry tonight. Why? Because for a three-pick entry, you are getting implied odds of minus 122 on underdog fantasy. So underdog fantasy, objectively better than prize picks. We have no, you know, this is video is not sponsored by Underdog Fantasy, right? They have nothing against prize picks. It's just they offer worse payouts on three pick entries. So the implied juice you're getting on prize picks is minus 141, whereas on Underdog, it's minus 122 because your payout is higher, right? You're getting plus 500 odds. So the implied juice is minus 122, but we've gone through this math many times. So basically when you're playing three pick or five pick entries on underdog fantasy, you can, ins you can assume you're getting minus 122 juice. So I just put on underdog five pick, same implied odds as a three pick, and we're getting implied juice of minus 122, which is much better than two pick entry, right? So we know we're getting minus 122, so it's our job as a sharp better to find value at minus 122. So the people who make money sports betting, I don't know anything about this guy. I have zero intentions of watching baseball ever, especially tonight when so much college football is on. But this is pure value, right? Like you have to be foolish not to want to place this bet on underdog when every bookmaker is pricing this from minus 190 to minus 218 and you're getting minus 122. Granted, Mullins may not have a hit tonight. He may not. Who knows? Can't tell the future. But this is a good mathematically profitable bet. And it's realizing sometimes, you know, profitable bets can lose, right? It happens all the time. Pro sports bettors, they only win on spreads and totals 55% of the time, right? They still lose 45% of the time. So it's, you know, kind of separating the mindset that, a bet won, so it was a good bet. That's not the way you should be thinking, right? This is a good bet, period, and it may win, it may not lose, but it's a good bet because it, there's just ridiculous value. Every sports book is pricing this minus 190 to minus 218, and we're getting minus 122 on underdog fantasy in a three pick or a five pick entry. So this is the first play I went with, and you can really use Odds Jam to find these picks, right? Whit Mer Merrifield, that was the second pick we went through on DraftKings, right? And then Luis Gonzalez. So the, you know, three of the top four picks available, you can see right here, right? And it keeps going afterwards, but what Odds Jam does, right, is obviously Odds Jam kind of has real-time odds from all these major sports books and, um, you know, fantasy operators. So what Odds Jam does is just kind of take all this data available in the market and show it to you. So you can browse odds completely for free on Odds Jam for any sports you want to bet on, you know, UFC, tennis, whatever, and you can look for value, right? Ryan Mountcastle, is there any value on him? 
Doesn't really look like it, right? Underdog doesn't have a line, yada yada, and you can just kind of like search around the odds and look for value, just like the pros do it, just like the sharps do it, right? This is how the pros, the sharp bettors make money. They scan the lines and look for inefficiencies and soft spots with value, right? It's following market data. Every sports book sets lines independently, so you kind of view them all as an independent data point of what the line should be set at. And pretty clearly, you know, this is a play we want to be on. So I ended up locking in a couple plays, as you can see right here, uh, that I'll take you through, that I highly recommend you lock in. So we have Mullins over half of a hit, Mateo over half of a hit, Vlad under one and a half total bases, Andrew Vaughn under one and a half total bases, and Whit Merrifield to record a hit. And then I also had a three pick entry, but this one's more exciting. I gave them all out in the Discord as well, giving out all the plays on prize picks and underdog in the Discord. Click to join that. And this is five picks, got to win them all, to win 9.5K, right? And we came really close yesterday on a few different ones. I mean, we got really close to an epic night on underdog fantasy. So hopefully tonight's the night. With a five pick entry, you're getting plus 1,900 odds. So you actually only need to win one out of 19 to break even, right? So here is the five pick entry. Highly recommend it. Lock it in and let's make money.